My name is Alexei. Uh, I'm the product marketing director uh, at C Platforms. The company is actually uh, an HPC vendor in the full essence of it. Um, we don't do anything else but HPC. The roots are going back to 2002. Uh, it's a Russian-based outfit. It used to be better put. Now we are expanding into Europe. What the company does is own hardware, own software, services, and turnkey integration. The idea is very simple. We think that HPC, especially at the higher end of the market, is a boutique kind of market where you want as a customer to have some differentiation and some customized approach each and every time. And that's what, uh, what we are trying to embed into our strategy. So currently, um, our flagship products that we are talking most of all here at the IC 2010 is from the hardware side, it's a Blade 2 or T-Blade 2, the, the formal name. That's a HPC um, blade system, very unique. The densest system on the market today packing 64 sockets or 32 nodes into 7U. Um, we also talk about Clustrix. The, uh, we don't think there is a competition yet for that, that baby. Uh, it's a cluster-wide OS. Um, if you think about the clusters today, most of them have some compute node Linux systems running and then you need to put additional tools and, and, and modules just to make it a cluster. We decided to take a radically different approach to scale into a petaflop level or exascale. Uh, theoretically, I mean it's too premature to say now but still we go in there. Um, imagine yourself a single family uh, of, of code if you will, the same basis where you have everything from resource scheduler over to compute node uh, Linux over to uh, memory management uh, own version of MPI if required uh, manageability uh, single resource uh, database etc etc so it's a five years plus development. Uh, we've tried, in an I would say to an extent, it's a virtualized operating system that is trying to, to interpret the hardware inside the cluster as one single piece, as a resource available to you. We wouldn't call it a cloud, it's not, but it's a grid-ready system of a next generation that would actually dynamically allocate, uh, you know, or distribute itself, uh, itself, and would actually scale to dozens of thousands of nodes. So this is the part which is uh, a software. We also have the manageability built in, so you can almost real time track 12,000 nodes by one single one U management node, and if you need more, you just add another uh, node. All these things are good and well, but uh, one thing customers require in many cases is turnkey integration. So when we walk into the customer premises, we try to analyze what the customer has, what the requirements are, and we build from scratch data centers. Not with all, you know, internal engineering force. Of course, we have subcontractors, but we know what has to be done. So for the Lomonosov, that now fashionable word, which is everywhere at our booth, Lomonosov is a Russian, founder of Russian science, so to speak. That's a, a Moscow State University cluster, which is number 13 today on the top 500. For that system, we had to move into the building, which it was not a data center at all, and through the cycle of one year, actually developed from scratch a very uh, tight data center where we actually pack 1.3 megawatts of power, having 4,500 nodes, having 420 teraflops at just 252 square meters compute floor space. It's a very, very tightly packed design. So we understand cooling, 
we understand, you know, things like static electricity even because you need to keep, you know, the air uh, humidity up. We understand the way actually uh, to put infrastructure. The things we work now on is making a hot water reusable. Uh, we think about GPGPUs and we now can tell you that we signed the development agreement with NVIDIA to have an access to their Fermi technology and we're going to have a very tightly packed uh, GPGPUs, Fermi, inside our Blade 2, um, having up to 106 teraflops per 42 unit rack, mid-term future. So all in all, you know, you, you one can ask, so how does the company do that all, having 160 people? The answer is, is, is simple. We're privately owned and we're trying to work very hard with institutions out there, both on the governmental level and on also association level. We're trying to see what kind of prototyping we've got to do and we're trying to secure the funding as well. It's a cooperation kind of model we're trying to, to introduce and to sustain our development going forward. In order of priority is Cluster XOS being number one to enable the petascale computing. It's T-Blade 2 as a hardware basis uh, that would actually even allow you to have, yeah, say dozens of thousands of nodes based on that technology. Can I be a romantic to an extent? It's a passion. I mean, the company is crazy. Some people had said to us that we uh, actually remind the Cray research of the earlier days. Uh, it's a company which is uh, innovative, uh, rather young, literally. Uh, we have the talent 35 years old is the average age. And we think it is an advantage. We learn and we learn fast. So these are the three components. It's people as well. Let me be very reserved. Uh, my, my personal strategy always with customers or press, you know, either to, you know, just to, well, not to stay tight lipped. Of course, it's impossible. HPC world is all about giving you, you know, the sense of where we move. But we tend to under promise and uh, over deliver. I'd say for us the challenge today first is to make sure we are absolutely fit, we have good service network and we actually can deliver the products the customers want. If we achieve that as a uh, midpoint, we would need own interconnect, probably photonics because we understand the copper is not going to bring us there. Manageability has to be, you know, again, you know, up to the grade. The parallel software, the efficiency of the software, of course. So it's the same kind of agenda most of the companies actually, you know, look at. Uh, what we are trying to make sure is that we, we continue being a one-stop source. That's the way we think, uh, you know, future is bright for us. I can put it this way.